Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video, we are going to see how we can add a metric slider in our Looker dashboard and reflect data based on a specific range of the selected metrics in our dashboard. So as you can see over here, I have used a metric slider which basically helps me to select data within a particular range. So I'm selecting number of a stock from 250 to 982,000 and all of the graphs and charts are getting refreshed based on the selected metrics in my metric slider. So this metric slider helps you or your user to select from a range of values based on your requirement and it lets you filter by a range of values in a numeric dimension or select a single value from a numeric parameters. For example, if I just want to select a single value Suppose if I just want to select 100, then I can select it. So this is showing 100, but the minimum value over here is 100 for all of these countries. So if any of the record in your data satisfies the metric slider value or is equal to the metric slider value, then it will display the record or it will reflect the data on your graph and charts. Now one of the major points that needs to be noted over here is that the metric slider control will always take a numeric parameter and it will not take any other parameters from the data source. So you cannot use a categorical variable over here in the metric slider. You will always have to select a numeric parameter over here. So let's go and create a metric slider control. So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to click on edit on my report and I'm going to delete this metric slider so that I can show you how I have created this metric slider from scratch. So the first of all what you need to do is that you need to go on your toolbar and click on this add a control. Once you click on this add a control then you will select this slider. The fourth, fifth option within this add a control drop down. Once you click on it then you will be able to place a metric slider anywhere on your Looker page. So let's select over here. Now what happens is that by default Looker will select a numeric parameter for your metric slider. Suppose if you have 5 or more than 5 or any n number of numeric parameters in your data or you specifically want to select a specific numeric parameter over here then you can go to the control field and change it. For us it's just this number of stock transferred in thousands is the numeric field so we'll select this one only. Now if you go to your right hand side you will see under control you have setup and the first option in setup is data source. So it provides the dimension and parameters which you can use in your control. So this is where you can select the data source for your metric slider but you have to make sure that the data source which you are using for metric slider is the same which you are using for other graphs and charts in your dashboard. The next option that we have over here is date range dimension. So this option only appears if your data source has a valid date dimension. Then only this date range dimension will automatically select the column in your data source which has dates. The third option that we have over here is the control field. This control field is the dimension to filter by or the parameter whose value is set by this control and it provides the list of values that appears in the control. So this is the list of value. The minimum value is 100 and the maximum value is 982. Now what you can do over here within this default selection is that you can specify a range in which you want to filter your data for your entire dashboard. So suppose if I want to put or if I want to show data from range from 200 to 500 then I can write something like this 200 to 500 and then you will see that you have a specific range from 200 to 500 and now your looker dashboard has automatically set slider here. So in this way you can basically give a range which you want your user to see when they open the dashboard. So let's remove this default range so that we can show the entire data. Moving ahead we have order over here. So this order is basically show the top n number of values in your metric slider. 
it basically limits the number of item displayed in the control using the top n values now the next option that we have over here is the default date range this option limits the value displayed in the control to the range you specify using those dates so for example if you want to specifically select a particular date and you want to show the range which is available for those dates then you can use this default date range else in most cases we do not use default date range in any of our metric slider or any of our filter because we want user to have all the flexibility with dates and everything now the last option within this setup is the filter so this filter helps you to restrict the data displayed in the control by including or excluding the values you want to specify now suppose if you want to add a filter then what you can do over here is that you can click on add a filter then you have to give name of this filter and then you have an option to include or exclude a particular value from a particular field so you can select any of the field and then you can put a condition equal to contains starts with regular expression match regular expression contains in and is null and then you have to give a value over here and then you just have to click on save then your filter will be applied on this metric slider but most often as i said we do not use any kind of filtration or any kind of default date range in our metric slider or advanced filtration lists now if we go to the style section of this metric slider you will see the first option that we have over here is the control within this control we have two options drop down and fixed size so currently we had selected fixed size and you can see that this metric slider is in a fixed size length right you can slide the metrics correct now think of it in a way that if you want to give a new visual aspect to your metric slider you can select this drop down and once you select your drop down then the user will have to go and click over here as a small drop down and then they can select or slide this metric slider so that they can select the range so it's just a visual appealing thing in terms of the styling of your metric slider now the next option that we have over here is the label position so this label position basically sets the appearance of your control level now if you go over here and click on left you will see that the label position of this metric slider has been moved a little bit into the left as it has let me select top over here and now if i go over here you will see that it's on the top right let's go and select left so if I select left over here and now if I go to view then you will see that it has moved to the left side this number of stock transferred in thousand which is our label has moved to left so if you want to move your label from top to left or left to right then you can go to style and select this label position and even if you want to hide it you can select this hidden and then your label this number of stock transferred will not be appearing over here once you select this so you just have a metric slider over here right so first of all i'm just going to select this fixed size so that i can see my metric slider in a fixed size way and i'm just going to put top so that i can see the label over here now you have the next option of slider mode so the slider mode have five different options for us the first option is this range so this range makes the minimum and the maximum value adjustable if you want to adjust the minimum and the maximum value then you can use this range then after selecting this range you have to give the minimum value over here and maximum value over here manually then the next option within this slider mode is single value if you want to use a single value or if you want your user to select only single value in your slider then you can use a single value then again you have to give minimum value and maximum value over here manually the third option that we have is locked minimum so with this locked minimum it makes only the minimum value in the range adjustable so you can only adjust the minimum value while the maximum value will not be adjustable by the user you cannot adjust beyond this so this means that you can minimize it or select the minimum values 
but you cannot select the maximum values beyond the maximum value which is actually present in your data right now in your data you have 982 as a maximum value you cannot go beyond this let's go back to our next option that we have over here which is locked maximum so in this way you can see over here that the maximum value has been locked and it makes only the minimum value in the range adjustable you can adjust the minimum value range over here now the next option within the style section of metric slider is snapping right so what exactly is this snapping so this snapping helps you to set the size of each movement of the slider thumb for example to have each move of the slider thumb increased by 10 you need to select over here so suppose if I'm selecting value 10 over here as a step size what will happen over here is that when you select or move your slider you can see that you are moving your slider with the increment of 10 or you won't be able to increment the value by 5 or any other number except 10 now if we go ahead then we have an option of show tick mark if you select this then what will happen is that it will show marks on the slider bar at a specific interval and this specific interval over here is the 10 which you have selected over here within this step size of snapping now the last option that we have over here is text now if you want to show the text box you can check this and if you do not want to show the text box you can uncheck this and you will see that this text box or the text value which is over here this 280 will get disappeared if you unselect this so let's keep this and let's select this slider mode as a range so that I can we can see all the ranges right now the next option within this style is that slider color if you want to change the slider color then you can use this section to change it so if you want to change the thumb color you can change it from here so my thumb color is red now and if I want to change the track fill color then I can change it from here so this is the track and if you want to fill it with another color you can do it from here then the last option that we have is the track background color if you want to change the background color you can select from here and change it so let's select yellow okay and if I go to view and change this then you can see that this section is yellow sort of yellow and this is the blue that we have selected so this is the label option if you want to change the font family then you can change the font family of this label okay and the last option within the style that we have is background and border if you want to change the background of this entire metric slider then you can change it from here let's select a background of green okay or uh, some other color this one and we can set the border radius from here so let's select the border radius of 5 we can set the opacity of this background at 70% or let's keep it at 90% then this is the border color if you want to change the border color you can change it from here and this is the border weight if you want to increase or decrease the border weight of this metric slider then you can use it from here so let's keep 4 and this is the last option that we have is the border style if you want to change the border style of this metric slider then you can choose from solid dashed dotted and double so let's select double over here now if i go back to view then you can see that whatever changes we have done in the style section for this metric slider is working and based on our selection of range the entire dashboard data is getting refreshed so this metric slider will always help you or your user to select the data from a range of values based on your requirement and it will filter your entire dashboard visualization visits based on your selection either a single value or within a range so this is how basically you add and work with metric slider in looker dashboard happy learning and see you in the next video